The baby steps are measurable goals and they are effective at not only accomplishing the numbers portion of personal finance, but more importantly, the behavior. Let's go over the steps. Baby step one, a thousand dollar emergency fund. The goal is to get a thousand dollars as fast as you can. This should be accomplished in only a month or two. This thousand dollars will help catch any of those gotchas. Note, if your household makes less than $20,000 a year, save up $500 instead. The goal here is to get some pad between you and life and do this as quickly as possible. There was a young couple who had struggled with money but decided to follow this very process. After making some sacrifices, they finally were able to save $1,000. They were excited. They had never had $1,000 in savings before. Unfortunately, no sooner than they saved their $1,000, they were faced with an $800 hot water heater repair. Have you ever been there? Visit with your emotions. How would you feel if that happened to you? This couple felt every negative thought and emotion. Why is it when we take one step forward, we take two steps backwards? Why is it we can't get ahead? After they made the repair, they realized something. Even though they did not want to use their emergency fund, this was the first time that they did not use their credit cards or overdraft protection. They did not borrow from mom and dad or skip out on paying a bill. They simply stepped up and paid cash. Their savings plan was practical and it worked. Then they became more focused and quickly replenished their $1,000 emergency fund. Having an emergency fund is protection. Your stress will go down considerably and you will begin to sense some hope and peace in your life. Baby step two, the debt snowball. Begin by listing all of your debts, smallest to largest, based on balance with the exception of your house. Make minimum payments on all of your debts. Use your extra dollars and apply towards your smallest debt until it's paid off. Now the snowball is beginning to roll. Take what you are paying on that smallest debt and apply it to the next debt. Continue all of your debts until they've been paid off. Get rid of those stupid credit cards and become debt free. Baby step three, saving a fully funded emergency fund of three to six months of expenses. What if you suffered a major negative financial event? Let's say to the tune of five to $10,000, such as a major illness in your family or a job loss. Would you be able to pay your bills? That is why it's so important to get your $1,000 emergency fund and now grow it to three to six months of expenses. One of my wife's cousins not long ago lost his job. They're a family of five and were prepared for this type of event. When he lost his job, they had six months of expenses set aside and no debt. So I asked him one day if he was experiencing any financial stress. He said, not really. He proceeded to tell me that he had a cruise paid for and was excited about a little rest and relaxation. That does not sound like a guy that's stressed out to me. As a matter of fact, he did not feel any obligation to find a job right away. When you have three to six months worth of expenses, it brings you peace. And in my wife's cousin's case, he was able to be more selective on his job hunt. It simply goes without saying that having a fully funded emergency fund takes a lot of financial pressures away. Baby step four, investing 15% for retirement. You have now paid off all of your debt, everything except the house, and have at least three to six months of expenses saved for emergencies. Now that you have the foundation laid for your financial plan, now you can begin to build wealth. Invest 15% of your income for retirement. If your household makes $50,000 per year, you would want to invest $625 a month towards your financial future. Baby step five, save for your kid's college. While you're doing baby step four, you should also be doing baby step five and baby step six at the same time. Baby step five is where you use vehicles such as educational savings account or ESAs and section 529 plans to save for your children's college education. This will help ensure that your children or grandchildren do not go deeply into student loan debt. Baby step six, pay off the house early. Use any remaining funds you have left over after saving for both retirement and college and pay off the house early. Then you'll be 100% debt free. Baby step seven, build wealth and give a bunch of it away. Now you have reached the ultimate level of financial freedom, being able to bless others with the wealth you have accumulated. Imagine what would it be like to take care of the needs of your family, your community, and everyone else around the world. When you've arrived at this step, now you've truly done something.